Hi, here we go. Um, this is uh, looking. This is me looking for a new job, uh, a new project, or a new delivery. Um, let's have a look. I'm going to look at the freight market, and we are in Dortmund or somewhere. Not Dortmund, it's. Dr I can't think what it's called. The name of it, where I left it. I think what I'm going to do is go to where I left it in the game. Let's go. Let's escape there and let's just do drive and I was over the um, job let's center there Nuremberg I was close <laughs> Dortmund Nuremberg German let's link and I think I was going to go for Milano that's where we're going to go and there we go your trailer is ready let's start the old engine a quick sip of my drink And look for this here trailer. <clears throat> it's to my right. Okay. Switch to the outer. Head out the window or something, this view's called. Thank you very much. Let's just have a look on the map, where we're going to be going. Zoom out, boy. Okay. Righty ho. How are we doing for sleep? Seven hours, looking good. Um, right, and we've got how many miles to go? Uh, okay, doesn't say. It's in there somewhere. Let's just go. Let's just go. Twenty-five hours, and I better get some fuel. That's first stop, I think. Right. Okie dokie. Again, always oh, quite well. Most of the time, it's nice and sunny. Switch to outside so I can see what I'm doing. Um, okie dokie. I don't think I've ever seen anyone on the crossing. Um, pedestrians are quite uh, robotic to say the least and they're always protected by a fence. Um, oh, will he do me, will he do me? Ka-ching! Technically it was an amber light I thought I went over. I deemed it too dangerous to stop on amber. So I decided to traverse the light. <coughs> L 
la la la. I've never been here in real life, so I can't tell if it's uh, an accurate representation of uh, Nuremberg or whatever it's called. But uh, it's very, it looks very good. Um, I've said it before, I've said it again, and I will continue to say that the attention to detail, it doesn't have to, in my book, absolutely mimic, copy the exact place. But the actual, you know, the, the, the signs, the gravel by the grass on the right, you know, the worn out grass, um, the, the, the condition of the road, not the traffic, but the actual markings and things like that, I think is so good. I think a lot of work has gone into this. Alright, we're hanging a left up here. <coughs> a bit of a dry throat. I shot or photographed a, way, a, a christening yesterday, and half the family had a cold. So... <laughs> I hope that's not what I've got. I think we're going to go this way. But yeah, so I didn't see that bad manoeuvre by me. I could put my lights on just to be safe. Blimey, come to a crawl. I'm trying to use the two, four, six, eight, ten manoeuvre, <coughs> excuse me, rather than the one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, sorry, the one, three, five, seven, nine. I think two, four, six, eight, ten is a lot better. And I've, I've done several deliveries of journeys uh, using one to twelve <coughs> sequential, and it, you're just forever changing gear, man. And sometimes if you slip accidentally, uh, or you over rev the engine, or you, you know, you get into a right pickle. Right, that's the end of the coughing. I think we're getting off here as well. And we're heading towards Mannheim, Zurich and Stuttgart. Computer, I love it, but it makes such a noise with the... Uh, I'd rather it make a noise and keep it cool than keep giving me a blue screen because overheating cannot do it any good. And I've either got to get a microphone which is totally blanks out the uh, the frequency if that's possible, or just move the microphone or the move the computer a further distance from the mic, you know, make the distance between them greater. But that's very difficult to do because this is always it is also a working computer where I do my photographic work, some video work and that sort of thing. So it's um you know it's got to earn its keep in this office. So we've got six hundred and seventy kilometers to go. Uh ten hours and forty nine minutes of driving, which will probably equate to about an hour, hour and a quarter, I reckon. In real time. Let's turn my lights off there. Um and at some point I'm going to, well, six hours and eight minutes, according to that, need to sleep. Um, but also need to get some fuel. So I'm going to probably drive for another four hours, I reckon, provided the fuel will let me. And uh, <coughs> see how we get on. Nice bright tunnels. They've even got the fans in them. Extractor fans. Very good. Oh, steady on, boy. If I was being really finicky, pinicky, I would say that there should be an echo in the tunnel when you sound the horn. Who cares? It ain't going to stop you playing. I've got about a third of a tank left. I don't really like stopping just for sleep. I don't really like stopping just for fuel. I'd rather do both. But let's see how it goes. I reckon, ooh, I don't know, a couple of hundred kilometres of fuel. 
something that should tell me on there. Um, 416. I wonder if that's 416, the one, two, third line down from the top. I wonder if that's a fuel left. Next time I get fuel, I will have a look and see what it is reading when I pull into the gas station fuel station and see what it reads when I leave the fuel station and see if there's a difference so I think the first one is obviously my gear and the time on the computer the second line is the overall mileage I've done in the Scania the third one I believe is possibly the fuel left or the miles or kilometers left on the tank and the next one is what's that 196 one nine, what's that mean? It's gonna be something silly, but I don't know. One nine, maybe that's the is that liters maybe? How many liters I've got? Dunno. Never really had a chance to examine that. Or a reason. Really. But uh we'll have a look anyway. We shall have a look. It's it's going down as well incrementally with the kilometers. So maybe it's the meters. We'll worry about that when we fill up and see. Right, watch the speed, Johnny boy. You're going a wee bit too fast. You're going straight ahead here, so I'm going to get in the other lane. I'm going to set it for about 80k on the cruise control. Uh, ba -bum. Let's have a look. Let's do... Okay, I've hit cruise control. We are at half past ten on a Wednesday night, as opposed to the real time, which is ten to ten p.m on a Monday night here in the sunny UK yeah, it has been quite nice today actually uh, 30th of September to oh my god tomorrow is the 1st of October how depressing is that if you hate winter as much as I do technically it's autumn I suppose but I don't like it I like long light days warm days and short nights I do not like the cold I do not like the dark I do not like snow horrible Ugh. Anyway, let me concentrate on driving. I think we're keeping on the main drag here. I wonder if you travel on the road a lot on the continent, if you actually as a lorry driver or tourist or whatever when you go from country to country you cross the border do you actually have to stop at like a toll gate or something and show your passport I would have thought you do but if you're in in Europe maybe you don't I don't know I just don't know It gets dark quite quick here on this game, mind you. The uh, the rate of real time versus PC time, well, I don't know, 20 times greater? I don't know. Maybe, maybe a bit more. Let's have a check on the old four hours. So in the next, yeah, I reckon the next couple of hours... Uh, on the game, I will be considering fuel and sleep. They're both sorts of fuel, really, I suppose. One for the engine and one for the body. Deep thought there. Right. Yep, 
Yep. That's the fuel then, I think. As in, what we got left, I reckon. 290 kilometres and 143 litres. I think that's it. Well, I'm looking around too much rather than concentrating on driving in a straight line. Let's have a look. Cruise control on a long road does help because it's only your foot depressing or pressing on the right uh, pedal, you know, the throttle, but it does make it a bit easier. I think I better change gear. That's going to mean resetting. People are undertaking me. Let me get over. Just as the sign comes up here. We'll be going straight on, so I shall get back over again. I've got a new video channel on uh, YouTube called Video Guy. I've also got The Video Guy and That Video Guy. But I am Video Guy and this will be the first ETS uh, video that gets uploaded. Live as it were, having done it. Um, there's a couple of old ones I've put on there. But this is the first one for that channel. Um, and um, yeah, let's hope I get a following. I'm not going to do as much as others uh, on YouTube simply because I don't have the time. But um, I'd like to put a few uh, videos up there. Some are recreational, uh, some may be informative, I hope. Some may just be interesting, and some, well, as I say, like this one just for fun, really. Um, but um, I, hope, uh, I hope they are enjoyed. Um, I perhaps haven't got as much to say as others. Um, good luck to them, but um, you know I don't waffle on. I don't think I do, anyway. But um, it's nice to learn. I'll be able to learn from uh, videos, and uh, YouTube I think is a great uh, source for that sort of learning. Um, and uh, yeah, I love it. I think Vimeo, which <laughs> It used to be, maybe still is to a degree, a competitor of YouTube. That used to be the favoured channel, but I think it's gone downhill. I hear also from other people it's gone downhill a bit. And YouTube has, has come back, you know, if it was ever down, but it's come back. And I think it's great. It's it's really helpful. Um, it's very flexible. Uh, I don't know where they store, how they store all the stuff. Because some of my uploads have been like 12 gig. And uh, <laughs> I'm just really careful on my computer where I store stuff. And obviously, you know, YouTube have got just a wee bit more space than I have. But I just don't know how they do it because there must be millions and millions of people storing information. How do they do it? You know, I'm, I tend to be very conservative on uh, where possible on file sizes and such like on my computer. So I don't fill up my drives with, with rubbish. Um... But YouTube, phew, don't know how they do it. Must have terabyte and terabyte, millions, billions of terabyte of data. Be interesting to know. I think I'm going to end up stopping soon. I'm going to get the map up and see. Whoa, leaning forward hence the groaning yep that's where we're going to stop just there okay sorted convenient that's going to be great both for the fuel and for the sleep i think that's going to be timed just great so my plan worked which is great rare but great we have a hundred i don't think we're going to even touch that what are we on there 70 68 I think what I'm going to do 
I'm going to do this video in two or three parts because I've got some other stuff to do. Oh, and um, yeah, I don't want it to go on for too long, so I'm going to do two or three parts, probably 20 minutes or so each. I'm not sure where we've got up to on this one, but I'm going to stop at the fuel station, knock it off there, and then do a part two from this fuel station to wherever we get, whether it's a destination, or I might even do a part three. And just call it part one, part two, and part three. And that'll break it up a bit as well. Because I'd like to get it uploaded tonight, part one, just to make sure everything's working okay, to see how this audio mix is with my Rode NTG2. I've got a fairy dead cat on it, which is a filter, uh, like a protective wind filter, if you like. Oh, a bit fast. And, uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So I'm going to just fill up, answer the question to this thing, which I'm fairly certain it is. Uh, what I said, the uh, dial, the gauge, the readout, wham, slow down boy, blimey, um, engine off, handbrake on, fill up, oh, hold on, let's turn the engine on again, that's 156 and 77, 156 and 77, that's 156 and 77, I should just get ready for sleep, and then I'll call it a day. Gonna cost a few bob. I think it's the lowest I've been. There we go. Right. Start her up. It was 156 and 77. Yeah, it's it's fine. So it's 12. It's about 1200 K to a tank then. Never knew that before. That's great. So I'm just gonna pull over here. Hopefully not hit anything. And uh try and park neatly. Although it'll it'll ding in a minute anywhere. There, I'll park there. That's fine. Right, catch me on part two. Thanks for watching. Shouldn't really wake up my fellow colleagues there, but never mind. Time for breakfast. <laughs>